Okay, I just wanted to take a second and walk through this problem 9-2. Um, so conceptually what it's talking about here is having an, uh, a spread spectrum system that has a given bandwidth. Now, I'm not going to use uh, the exact numbers or the exact same problem, but we're going to kind of walk through the concept. So ultimately, if we're talking about a system that has, we'll use a total system bandwidth in this case. I'm going to say we're going to have a total system bandwidth of 100 kilohertz. All right. And in that case, we know that it's made up of a number of channels. And each one of these channels, we're going to say, has a channel bandwidth that is, so we'll say 100 kilohertz total bandwidth and a channel bandwidth that's going to be equal to, ah, we'll use some round numbers here, I'm just going to make something up, uh, 5 kilohertz. So if we're looking at this, we have to remember spread spectrum, this is going over across each channel, spreading out our spectrum. Well, if we have a 100 kilohertz total bandwidth, this entire side along the top here is 100 kilohertz, and each channel is five. Well, visually, you can see it's pretty easy. How many, uh, you know, how many hops do we have? Well, what we have is for hops, we've got 100 kilohertz divided by five kilohertz. All right, and that's going to leave us with 100. 20. Okay, so we've got 20 hops. All right, that makes sense. So this is a binary system. Uh, how many bits do we need in order to get those 20 hops? Uh, what we're saying is 2 to the what power is going to be equal to 20. Well, how do we find that out? How do we find this value out? Well, uh, if we write that as instead 2 to the x power is equal to 20. Just to make it a little easier, we can say, oh, well, we know our logs. We can write that just the same as saying log base 2 of 20 is equal to x. Okay. Well, at that point, we can solve log base 2 of 20. I'm going to pop that into my calculator here. Hopefully, you've got something like a TI-84. You can just plug it in. Otherwise, you know, do the log base 10 divided by log of 2. Okay. So <clears throat> that works out to be x is equal to 4.3. Well, this is a digital system. Can you have 4.3 bits? Well, no. Um, of course not. Bits are whole numbers. Um, you have one bit, two bit, three bit, four bit, five bit. Well, will this work with four bits? Is that enough? Well, no, it's not an issue of rounding. It has to hold 20, so we need first number that can hold that or more. So that means that our final value in this example is the minimum number of PN bits required is going to be equal to the ceiling of x, which is going to be equal to 5. And that's our answer for a problem very similar to 9.2. Hope it's helpful.